The Emory Ballard Show is brought to you by MFC Services. Mobay Chemical Company. Brian Foods. Coca-Cola. And the Mississippi Farm Bureau. Now with Coach Ballard, the voice of the Bulldogs, Jack Crystal. Before the largest crowd ever assembled to see a football game in the state of Mississippi, the Mississippi State Bulldogs hosted and defeated the number one football team in the nation, the Alabama Crimson Tide, 6-3. to three. And Coach Ballard, if we might borrow a phrase from the late Sir Winston Churchill, never so many owed so much to so few. It was a super victory. <laughs> That's a heck of a quote, Jack. And gum, I didn't know you were such a historian. And, uh, but I, I think you described it amply, though. Uh, you know, it was a, it was a proud, proud moment. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud, and uh, uh, proud doesn't seem to be uh, adequate enough. But uh, our staff, I think they did a heck of a job, and, and uh, our players, uh, gosh, what a tribute uh, to the game of football, because I think they played the game the way it's supposed to be played. And uh, then the responsiveness of the Mississippi State people, uh, after, you know, we've given you some, some, bad, <laughs> some bad times in recent weeks, and, uh, and I've apologized for that. And I never was so happy to see so many people so happy and enthused and uh, of course that's what it's all about uh, we have a very sincere desire to want to represent this university in the manner that is becoming this university and it, it really makes us feel good whenever we see the kind of responsiveness that we got uh, after our win yesterday and throughout that contest uh, we had the, the greatest of support I don't think I've ever been around a crowd that was on their feet and with a football team, uh, every step that they took during the course of a football game like we, like we were there yesterday. And of course, I didn't stay out there, but they said they couldn't get people out of the, out of the stands when it was over or anything else. But I'm proud of you, because uh, that's what it's all about. That's what it takes to, to build a program, and uh, just to have that kind of support and have that kind of feeling about it. And of course, you gotta have a bunch of uh, fellows that are fully and completely determined that they don't want to be average, they don't want to be a run-of-the-mill type of football player, because it really doesn't take anything to play football if you don't care what kind of football player you are. And uh, so I'm, as I said, proud is not the word to use when you're talking about the fellows that compose our team. Uh, men, I salute you. Uh, all of Mississippi, I think, will, will join with me in that. But I think you've done an outstanding job. Uh, you've got the, all the stuff that it takes. Uh, I'm proud of you. I love you. And we're going to look at the first half action in just a minute. From feeding just a few to feeding himself and 60 more. The Mississippi farmer, always given a helping hand by women in agriculture. The many women's programs, another service to members of Farm Bureau. The American farmer, tough to beat, the American way, tough to beat, what keeps them growing, tough to beat, those products from Mobay. Mobay Chemical Corporation is proud of the contribution Mississippi agriculture makes to the American way of life. And we're proud of the contribution our products make to the productivity of the Mississippi farmer. Mobay and Mississippi Agriculture, partners in productivity. Look, Teddy, Mom, here's your favorite. Tasty brine bacon with delicious hickory smoke taste. Hey, sis, telephone. Now, brine is all mine. The hickory smoke taste. Mm. Okay. Who ate my brine bacon? Teddy? Brine makes you glad you're hungry. Brine makes you sad you're through. Brine makes so many good meats to eat. Cause brine makes the taste come through. Thank you. 
We played an outstanding football uh, team yesterday. Uh, of course, they were ranked number one in the nation. Uh, uh, they're what college football is all about. That's, that's been the history, the tradition of the University of Alabama football team. Uh, they, had, they had a great team. They had a 28-game uh, winning streak going, coming into the football game. Our players had a heck of a challenge, and as we said all week, with every challenge, uh, there's also opportunity. And so we go into this football game, I think, with our jaws set and ready to do battle and just get it on an even kill. Uh, Tony Black. Uh, Jerry Gilligan. Donald Ray King. And Donald Ray King represented right. us at the coin toss. Uh, we won the coin toss, we received, and Danny Knight made a fine return to get us off and moving. And then the University of Alabama defense uh, is probably one of the toughest in the nation. They have demonstrated that over and over. Uh, they've given up very few points. I was very pleased with our offense that we were able to hammer out, control the ball, and we presented. We got five scoring opportunities during the course of the game. Uh, we fouled up on third down to to hurt uh, two of those situations and consequently didn't get quite the points uh, maybe that we should have, but we did a good a job offensively. For us to win, we had to do a great job defensively to keep the score in, in tow because of the Alabama defense is so strong that you're not going to get a lot of points. And I'll say this, our defense did respond because they played a magnificent football game. That was the longest running play that they had uh, that you just looked at. It was a third down long situation. They broke the draw. And now you see Billy Jackson pressuring. We did a great job of handling our fullback inside out with Ernie Barnes, uh, Glenn Collins, and Johnny Cooks, who I think in the last few weeks is really asserting himself as one of the really great players in the country. Here we go with Michael Haddox on a third down long situation coming out with a big play that gives us first down. And of course, field position is so important when you're coming out of that end of the field. Michael Haddock's hammering behind strong, aggressive blocking, but you can see the quickness of the, of the Alabama defense as they, as they come back in. On this particular play, we had an offside, but uh, we had a bootleg called, and somehow or another we got our signals crossed and we handed the ball off to an unsuspecting uh, ball carry. Consequently, the ball's on the ground. Alabama gets good field position. And now they get a, a, one of their big plays in, in the option before Larry Friday, Fez Meyer, and Johnny Cooks uh, chase the quarterback down. And then we, then we go to work. And now you see a well-played option play where we were right in their face, pressuring, and get the ball free, and we come up with it. And of course, that's what football's about. Michael Haddock fights for about five. That was a third and one right there, Coach. We just sneaked it from the first down, got a good offensive yeah. charge, and moved it out. This is a reverse play with Marty Mike Dole. Marty comes back for substantial yardage. And we got the ball on the move now. We're moving down and into good offensive territory. We got an open Marty McDowell, but we're throwing high. And so we go to the punt for field position. This is Major Ogilvy, number 42 of Alabama, knocked off his feet by George Wansley. In Alabama on a second and one, with Fagan carrying, fumbles it, and we get an opportunity here, Coach. There's a lot of contact being made in this contest. It was a good hard-hitting contest. Now the option played, handoff to Fred Collins, and Fred goes for about four or five. And so end. end of the quarter, no score, coach. Nobody's got anything on the board. Zip, zip. We Once it right down to the end zone, and I thought we were going to get this football right here. Yeah, we should have. We, we couldn't quite get turned on the ball quick enough, and we let it slide on in there. But it looked like we were going to get that great field position. Of course, we, I think that's a good shot of... of the Bulldog defense, too, Jack, uh, showing that there's a lot of pressure from Ernie Barnes. We let our quarterback get outside on us on this particular occasion. But we're starting to get healthy again, Jack. We're getting our, our people back. 
Tyrone Keyes making a big play here. And Tyrone, I think, played his best football game that he's played since I've been at Mississippi State. Another great play as he put, fights off a blocker, goes down, great effort, uh, gets to the quarterback. Once again, we hammer in there on a, on a trap. You can see we didn't get a whole heck of a lot. The yards gained uh, were a yard earned uh, in this particular ball game. It was a tough defensive football game. Completed pass to David Ellis for first down. And now John on the option play gets outside. Get the ball in, John. Gets it down, and, and a, he's a competitor. He likes to play. Coach, we drove this ball right down the football field, kept it about five minutes on the clock, and uh, took it down into scoring country, one of those five opportunities you talked about. But Alabama prevented us from scoring with a pass interception. And this little five-yard uh, penalty here didn't help the situation any. Sort of uh, slowed us up a little bit. Yeah, little penalties, they, they break the continuity on your drives, especially when you're playing people this tough. There's John on the option play, keeping once again. And now he goes to his right. Uh, we had an out pattern call. It, it switched automatically to a fade. Uh, we throw, we get intercepted in that particular case, and so we lose that scoring opportunity. We misplayed two, two third down uh, plays in, scoring, in the scoring area. We got an interception, which which they uh, they caused, you know, they got the interception. But I mean, had we just run a quarterback sneak, you know, we were sitting down there in position to score, and then we miss another scoring opportunity. Defense held them again, and uh, we got the football back. I think we had the football something like eight or nine minutes longer than what uh, they did during the course of the game, which is a tremendous advantage. After a major penalty of 15 on third and long, third and 23, we hit Haddocks. But he's short of the first down, so we have to punt it back to the white jerseyed Alabama Crimson Tide. We're late in the first half. It's still a no-score ball game. This is Ogilvy, number 42. Yeah. Henry Kuntz making the hit. He makes a, a good return there. They had a clipping penalty on that particular return, though, which they did have a clip which allowed him to get outside. There's good continuity, good cohesiveness in our backside support. Now we're getting to the, there's number 99. Johnny Cooks. Uh, Johnny on the spot Cooks. There's Big Ty coming after him, hard from the backside. And uh, Alabama punts here, Coach, and we mishandle the punt. Give them an opportunity to set up just before halftime. We hold them for, they make the recovery, and we hold them for three plays. And on the fourth and seven, Peter Kim puts their only points of the day on the board with a 49-yard field goal just as time runs out of the first half. So Alabama will take three to nothing into the dressing room at halftime. We'll be back with more Bulldog football after this. With all the products available for your lawn and garden today, there's only one more thing that you need, and that's somebody who can tell you how to use them. And you'll find that somebody at your local MFC co-op. Your co-op has everything you need for your lawn or garden, along with good advice that doesn't cost you a thing. And remember, your co-op's there for everybody. MFC and your local co-op. We've got what you need, and we can tell you how to use it. Yeah. You need any help? Mm-mm. Want my Coke? No, no. Really, you can have it. Coke and a smile. Okay. I feel good. Thanks. That's the way it should be. I like to see you around the whole world. Smile it with me. Coke and hey, Coke and 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 Coke How well we do in Mississippi depends on agriculture, our largest industry. How well we do on the farm, where the work goes on, depends greatly on safe habits. These are taught daily by the safety department. Another service to members of Farm Bureau.
Coach Ballard, despite the fact that Alabama had scored on the final play of the first half and took three to nothing into the dressing room, I think that crowd of 50,000 plus fully realized that Mississippi State had dominated the play in the first half of the ball game and that there were 30 long and tough minutes remaining to be played before that ball game went in the record book. I felt like when we went in, uh, Jack, and I told our players uh, uh, that we had control of the football game. And the only thing they got was a result of uh, field position uh, because of the fumbled uh, the punt situation. We had had two scoring opportunities and we made bad plays on third down. And we came away without any points. And uh, of course, you know, that was 30 minutes of football. We had the last half of the football game to play. And, and I think, obviously, our team, and I knew when we came out of there, uh, we were coming back to do battle. We weren't, we weren't coming back to, to try to, to play it even or play it close. Uh, we were coming out to try to win that thing. And of course, that's the way we went into the ball game. But we had great effort. We got great performance. And our defense jumped right back out, took up. Uh, if anything, they cranked it up another notch, caused a, a big play. And um, from that point, the offense uh, cranked up, got us a couple of first downs, and got us, got us down in there into scoring position. And it was, it was tough, uh, tough every time you moved the other day. Now you see their great defensive tackle moving in, but we've got the football in good position. We got it in. Dana Moore makes his kick, and so we get the score tied up real quick in that third quarter. And I was very pleased to see this. We have not played well in the third quarter until uh, this past week we played well. Uh, they open it up with a trap on their next series, and Johnny Cook steps up and throttles that. They come out with the option play. And uh, I think there was four times we let them get outside of us a little bit with the option play. That was one of those occasions. Of course, they, uh, they execute well. Here we're getting good pressure. John Miller, who came in for Rusty Martin uh, after Rusty dislocated an elbow uh, and played real, real fine football. Marty handling the kick, makes a tackle, comes up the sideline, gets a fine return. He's one of the leading return men in the nation. And of course, uh, his performance in this game is not going to hurt him in either. Uh, George Wansley fights for a couple of yards. And now we go to the option play and John Bond. He's getting better by the minute. Uh, to get that ball in a little tighter. Now we go with a, a, a bootleg pass. Uh, they had real fast, quick containment. It's, it's almost like they were over there when we called the play from the sideline. Got the signal, came up field on us real rapidly. Uh, we were cut off and forced to punt. Dana Moore, who's kicked extremely well under pressure, uh, came through in grand style in this ball game. There you see a fine defensive effort by Don Edwards as we stopped the inside belly. We got great pressure on the quarterback coming from Billy Jackson. Another good punt return here, coach, but uh, the field position was more or less wiped out because we got a Clipping penalty, but an excellent return. It would have been in Alabama territory, but we're set back to our 28. But we begin to move the football again. We're still tied at 3-3. There's the clipping penalty indicated. And we start a drive that uh, well, carries us. Uh, we were four, four minutes and 22 seconds left in the third quarter at this point. And we keep the football on into the fourth period. Well, this is real important. Uh, of course, moving the football is important. Maintaining possession of that football is vital. And, of course, that kept the Alabama offense over on the sideline. There you see Donald Ray King slipping down. We run the triple option in there. John lost his. Uh, fortunately, we had a, sort of a predetermined outside call on at that particular time. There you see John uh, busting it up through his crease, getting big yardage, let the ball get away from him again. And uh, now Donald Ray King, who's got a, uh, got a real good ability to to slither through a hole and find a little spot and then he's strong enough. Of course, John fakes this time, comes outside, uh, not faking, but he's running the triple option on each of those occasions. And we keep keep our option game going. And Donald Ray uh, fights it down to, uh, to around the five yard line. This is a heck of a drive for us. But the Alabama defense stops us. So we go to the field goal and Dana Moore responds very cool, very calmly. Uh, knocks it in there for a six to three lead. 
And of course, that's the way that son of a gun is going to end, but not before a lot of things <laughs> take place. <laughs> yeah, we got them. They start their drive, and we, we get them in good shape here. Uh, we get the quick pursuit out. They picked up a, a third down and two situation. Now they're coming up. You see Billy Jackson coming in from behind. Billy's a freshman defensive end for us, and he's just played tremendous. That was Larry Friday coming over the top. Uh, I thought the other day, if, if the fella had stayed up, Larry would have hurt somebody, either him or the other guy or something, because he was really coming after him. He had everything he had going into that tackle that he was uh, going to make. Here we come out of the hole with it. John on the, on the option play. We get a good block, a good offensive line surge. And once again, it's John, but that ball handling a little bit loose and it gets away from us this time and gives them possession around midfield. And so things start getting sticky again. There you see Billy Jackson once again coming in from behind as we get good, good position to the play side and the back side force was coming. John Miller and then Billy Jackson once again. Ricky George seemed like he got about half excited there, that number 72. That was a face mask on the reverse. We didn't get much on the reverse, but we got 15 on the whole, uh, face mask penalty. And uh, We're down in Alabama territory at the 44, moving again into uh, scoring range here, Coach, and again using up a lot of time. We used up about five minutes on the clock on this drive. Well, it was a... Uh, I probably made a mistake here in going for the field goal. Uh, probably should have punted the football under those circumstances because it was going to take uh, a touchdown either way uh, to beat us. And uh, three might have been as good as six. Uh, field position and time remaining was very, very important because they put together a pretty good drive because they got great field position as a result of blocking that uh, field, field goal attempt. Now they go to a throwback. This was the disappointing play of the day. Uh, we let let them get out of that big hole we had them in. I think we had them about third down and 20. Then they hit a, a pass to their split end. They come right back and they nail their tight end down around the uh, four yard line. And you see Tyrone Keys playing his best game of his career coming in and, and knocking the quarterback loose from the ball. Billy Jackson coming from the other side. And this is a play I didn't know transpired. Donald Ray Keen's got the football in there, but I didn't know all that happened. Uh, Lord have mercy, I'd have been a I would have been a nervous wreck if I'd known that ball was loose down there on that goal line still. But we wanted Coach 6 to yeah. 3. Oh, was it good. It's tough to beat the American farmer. Tough to beat the American way. Tough to beat what keeps them growing. Tough to beat. Those products from Mobay. Mobay Chemical Corporation is proud of the contribution Mississippi agriculture makes to the American way of life. And we're proud of the contribution our products make to the productivity of the Mississippi farmer. Mobay and Mississippi Agriculture, partners in productivity. Oh, no! Brian, lunch meets. She'll do anything to get in. Watch. He can't resist Tasty Brian lunch meats with their delicious seasonings. Brian is his favorite. Hey, sis! That great Brian taste comes through again. Brian makes you glad you're hungry. Brian makes you sad you're through. Brian makes so many good meats to eat because Brian makes the taste come through. There ought to be a place where a crop farmer can get everything he needs to make a crop. And there is. Your local MFC co-op. At your co-op, you'll find seed, fertilizer, agricultural chemicals, supplies for the farm and farm vehicles, and a lot more. And with it all, you get good advice that doesn't cost you a cent. Your MFC co-op is ready to work with you this year because working together works. Coach Ballard, it was a victory of great magnitude, obviously, and certainly one that we'll relish for many, many years to come. Now we'll have a week off and get ready to play the LSU Tigers again in Jackson in just two weeks. And how will this uh, time be spent with the Bulldogs? Jack, uh, you know, you never know exactly how is the best way to go about spending an open date. 
I think the open date uh, for us this year is coming at a, a very appropriate time. Uh, our, we've given the fellows off today, and uh, ordinarily we meet at 3 o'clock on Sunday to, re to review films and, uh, and have a general meeting with our, with our squad. And uh, we'll give them Monday off other than their weight program. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to meet with the squad uh, and show them the films of the game, the previous game, of course, the Alabama game being the, the game we're talking about. And uh, we'll take some conditioning work that week. The rest of the coaching staff's going to be on the road doing some recruiting for us at this, at this point in time. Wednesday, we'll be, get back to work. We'll have short workouts, but we'll be stressing conditioning and this type of thing. And, uh, of course, you know, we've got to put this one behind us. It was a, it was a wonderful win, and uh, our football season is in front of us. Uh, we face LSU and Jackson. Uh, they've got a fine football team. They're moving, moving very aggressive and tough at this point in time. And uh, we're going to have to be at our very, very best to be competitive, competitive with, the, with the Tigers of LSU. Uh, you know, we've got a beautiful stadium down there, and, and uh, I was, we played before the largest crowd that ever watched a football game in the state of Mississippi, and I like it. And I think we can beat the darn thing myself. Uh, a lot of people say we won't have as many people at the LSU game as we did the Alabama game. But I can't see our people backing away and, and not being present uh, throughout uh, the rest of this football season. I think our players deserve it. Uh, Lord help, uh, it's, it's uh, time to get together and, and enjoy things. Uh, and it's going to be a tough old contest. We need your help. So we'll see you in Jackson. And uh, when we play LSU two weeks from this past Saturday. Underneath center. Bond handling the ball straight ahead. Everybody piles up on it. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Game's over. Bulldogs win six to three. Alabama goes down and defeats the Mississippi State six to three. Mississippi State 6, Alabama 3. And we'll be back to talk more about it. The first on our network line while we keep from suffering a heart attack. Nineteen eighty two, Mississippi State University football. You beat the team you had to beat. Hey, look, you fit it in the dust and heat. Now you're thirsty and hot, and you know what to do, cause there's something big. 